Hello friends, this question from the test is number 2, so right name is EDC, topic name is semiconductor theory, it's a 2 marks problem. Question th says that an untapped silicon having an electron mobility mu n twice the whole mobility U mu p, means my mu n is twice of the mu p, okay, is subjected to a steady state illumination such that electron concentration doubles from, from its thermal equilibrium value, such that electron concentration doubles from its thermal equilibrium value. As a result, the conductivity of the sample increased by factor. So the question says that because the mobility of the electron is doubled to the whole, so because of the therm thermal illumination, the electron concentration is found it as a doubles to the holes. Uh, 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 electron concentration find is doubles from its value of the thermal equilibrium value. So find the effect on this conductivity. So let's assume that uh, uh, because of the thermal generation because of the thermal generation the let's say delta n electrons has been generated and the, if the thermal generation electron will generate the same number of holes will also be created okay so my q and i my my old uh, conductivity will be q and mu n that is before the thermal generation before the thermal will generate my conductivity will be this much now the, if the thermal uh, thermal uh, thermal illumination has been done so my new conductivity will be q times n plus delta n into mu n and because of the illumination holes are also generated so it will be delta p times mu p but question says that the because of the thermal illumination the concentration of the uh, electrons are found to be double so it means that n plus del n is twice of n so value of del n is basically n the value of del n is n, so my del p is also n. Let's put the value here. You will get the q times 2 mu n plus mu p. Okay, and again you know that mu p is nothing but mu n by 2. Mu p is basically mu n by 2. Just put the value of mu p also in the expression. You will get it as q times 2 mu n plus mu n by 2. Basically you will have a q times 2.5 mu n that is your sigma n2 so just get the ratio of sigma n2 by sigma n1 and you will have it as a 2.5 upon 1 that is sigma n2 is 2.5 times sigma n1 it means that conductivity has been increased by 2.5 so conductivity is increased by the factor of 2.5 okay thank you